Good evening everyone, my name is Fen, and today my objective is to annoy everybody. It's Flakebridge Monastery. I sort of streamed this a while ago, but I kind of got distracted by hats, so I'm gonna try this again, so here we go. I'll be going on a trip out of town today. At the foot of the mountains to the north lies an old builder outpost by the name of Flakebridge Monastery. It is no longer in use by the builders and no one knows why. The builders have never stated anything official about it, so little is known about what really happened there. Most rumors are either wild stories about undead monsters or simply a builder priest who's gone rogue and broke from the order. Either way, I'll have to be prepared for a challenge. My target is not the usual gold or silver, but a book. It contains the unpublished works of Jerome Dunham, a musician whose last known location is the outpost. Furthermore, the priest in charge of Flakebridge Monastery had or has a rare copy of the Builder's Holy Book of Amos. This should fetch a nice prize if I can get my hands on it. This is the first mission in hopefully a series where you play as Silas Woldrose, an orphan who was taken in by one of the thieves' guilds and raised and trained to almost perfection, almost careful in the arts of thievery. He now works for the guild, carrying out some heists for the guild, but keeps most of them to himself to avoid paying guild taxes. A confrontation will eventually be inevitable. Flakebridge Monastery was built more than 200 years ago next to the village of Flakebridge, overlooking both the road and river leading to the once wealthy region around Lake Coulter. The outpost soon flourished from tariffs and donations. Like many other builder outposts, Flakebridge Monastery offered travelers a safe haven on their travels, provided that they could pay for it. Little is known about what has happened there recently, but anyone who has gone near has not been heard from again. The few travelers that still need to get through choose the long way around through pagan-infested lands. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna play an expert because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have some tension up in here, so let's see. Water, arrows, holy water, well that seems useful, okay, uh... Oh, how many ropes do I have, though? I don't have any ropes. Damn it, I'm gonna need... One holy water, and one <laughs> Oh, I see, I do have... I do have some ropes, so I don't need this at all. Excuse me. These screens definitely need a, a bit more uh, efficient use of space. Perhaps, you might say. Well, I guess I could get another moss, another water, and noisemaker. That seems okay. Alright, so this first part may be slightly familiar. But worry not, for it will eventually stop being slightly familiar, I guess. This is extremely dark also. Gotta have this light which is green for some reason. I guess it's the new model with super pimped out colors. It's the DFI model lantern. <laughs> so you can tell that it's modern. Never mind any of that 2015 ASUS stuff. DFI will always be DF number one in our lantern providing hearts. Because, you know, who else sells lanterns besides somebody's heart? I ask you. Yeah, seriously, it's like this lantern is supposed to be spooky. This guy's like, I'm going to a spooky place, and by gosh, I'm gonna need a spooky lantern to go with. Can't put funny save name files in here. Well, not quick save name file names anyways. So, oh yeah. Um, 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 um. Haven't even cut. Well, well I have, it, but, you know, not not for any reason other than to go and turn off my light because damn also gonna turn off my light in the game as well because that might end up being a prudent idea in a situation like this you don't want to run into them dancing brothers Glenn Mark Bell and the killer dynamo with, with a light they might go have a good time tonight Am I accomplishing my stated objective yet? Oh, there's a cut. So that's some sort of armory, I would reckon. 
They have to find an armory key. Maybe there was one right back there outside the door like, hey, this door is locked, but here's a key that sounds like a great gameplay thing. I don't know. It could happen. This is so blue that it's just like crazy. You got your green, you got your blue, we're gonna get yellow. I was gonna say purple, but that might have been a little, uh, a little over much, I know. Oh shit. I heard some strange voices. I know I said I was going to annoy people, but even that's, uh, you know, going a bit far. I'm really gonna have to jack the game up on this one for some freaking reason. But okay. I, I do remember going outside in that one time when I streamed. This is kind of understated, you know? Like, it's, 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 uh, it's dark mod. It's a building and stuff. And it doesn't have, like, super crazy shroom bar lights, but it has a bit of lights there, and the sky is nice. It doesn't, like, thwack you over the head with its shroom bar itty, but, uh, it does, it does go, hey, dude, here's a skeleton. And when it comes to skeletons, you don't want to pronounce them the same as Raukau, because I'm already ripping him off to enough of a degree. So, uh, yeah, I should be Patreoning him much, 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 much more in order to be permitted to say the word skeleton. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I do have a rope arrow, though. Uh, I should think about rebinding my keys. You know, I've stubbornly stuck to mostly stock <laughs> thief and to them key bindings. But, uh, it's getting a little hard also. Also, it's getting a little hard also. There's nothing up here, so don't nobody worry. I'm pretty sure I remember a zombie walking around outside in some place, but I guess it's feasible that there could be multiple outside places in this mission. It's hard to believe, but believing is pretty hard, so I don't blame anybody for having a difficult time with it in these enlightened modern times. I guess I should play that mission again with commentary just so that I can say, hey guys, I'm referencing this mission instead of telling people to go watch this old, weird, awkward, silent version. Probably looks bad quality. But no, because that was after I got a capture card. Tech, tech, the tech, tech. Also, I know there's somebody walking around here. I can see him over there, I see? There he is. He's got his sword out, even. He's not even having it. He's already prepared for an intruder to stuff his ugly mug directly up in here. Oh. Okay, I guess I got lucky there. Or I just have gut-like timing. Oh yeah. Is it this mission darker than normal? I do have my gamma set upwards in dark mod, but hey, whatever. That's okay. Hey, hey there, zombie. You moan and groan a lot. It's perfectly attractive. Uh, you just keep doing that, and you could uh, you could get on the web. Not gonna say where on the web, but uh, you know it might be a spider web. I don't freaking know. I mean, Shantae. It's a series of games that's simultaneously very cute and extremely sexual, it's kind of odd, and the characters are apparently designed by a woman, so uh, take that, somebody, I guess. Take that, the stereotype of females that was planted in my head accidentally at like age eight. Okay, but anyway, yeah, I remember this, I was kind of running around because I was like, I want to play her in time, and then I did, and it was awesome. God, Head in Time keeps putting stuff on Twitter, and they, they wouldn't even say when they're releasing the final version. I mean, holy crap, it's like, it's like, how dare you displease me, sirs? Okay, well, yeah, you know, that zombie is the former priest who went rogue, you know? You you get excommunicated from the order, and you get turned into a zombie. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, there's, the, there's a book. It's not the book. Sadly enough, but I thought I remembered... Oh, yeah, there's a grill. I thought I remembered a crown here, you know what? That's what I thought I remembered. Perhaps I could be wrong. But, uh... I'm not gonna risk being wrong, am I? I love these sculptures of the the gear. You know, they're kind of um, they've got that that uh, carved out of 3D architectury kind of look that pops that you used to get with old PlayStation -y games and or Hexen, which apparently had a bunch of ports, but we just don't talk about them. Also, I guess that that didn't. That didn't do much because light's already there. Oh, but wait a minute, I could probably rope up here. Yeah, so, I mean, it's very dark, but there's cool lights on the ground and stuff. Oh! Never mind. It's it's actually not that dark. My gamma just wasn't working because I guess I all tabbed out. God damn, that's just the problem I was working on with Thief 3. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Back to being immersed in the mission itself. Immersed. Yeah, that's strange. I could swear there was some sort of crown, but I guess I guess not. Unless it's on this 
tabley coffin over here. I don't know. It's a table that looks like a coffin that's sort of fitting. Well, it's not a crown, no, but it's... Uh-oh. It's, it's, you know, it's something. It's a little buildery gear. I'm being screamed at by a zombie. Oh, it's just absolutely incroyable. Okay. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to travel up here, but it does appear that it may well be worthwhile. And I've still got this noob aimer. Oh my god, really? Come on, rope arrow. I'm There's some green light. I don't like it. Only my lantern is supposed to be green. I am the spoopy one over here. To use a worn out meme. Or in other words, a dank meme. I don't know, man. Hey. I thought there was a piano up here. Maybe I could play some copyrighted music on that. Apparently the last copyrighted music I cut out of a mission vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Ashes and Dust was not actually copyrighted. I feel bad about that. And I guess I could make another video just playing the Victrola. But it would be silly and short, so obviously since I'm silly and short myself, I'll do it. Six foot one is very short and no ladies are going to be interested in me because they only like people who are six five, like every lady ever. But if you're not nobility, then uh, anything goes, you see. Because uh, that's part of nobility school. They teach you to only like people. And when I say like, I don't mean like in a sexual manner. I just mean like at all, you know. If if you're not six foot five, you are cut from everyone's circle of friends. And even circle of people who they are casually nice to as they pass on the street. What nobility ever passes somebody on the street? God. They drive pintos. Come on, people. It's obvious. But, all right. Uh, the thing I remember about this is that there's a lot of floors and they kind of look like hallways. I mean, I don't mean to insult or anything, but that's what I remember. And I kind of remember going around and saying, Oh, oh, what is this? What is that? But it, it has a subtle beauty to it, you know? Like I say, oh, except that cobweb is one-sided. Except it, it is a cobweb, yeah. But still, you know, one-sided cobwebs. That's okay, it might become two-sided at some point in the future if you're an old, creepy movie wherein people can be convinced to fall in love by somebody else just trying over and over and over and over and over again until they see the great reasoning behind the decision they should be making. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, I like that, I like it, good. Moving on. Uh, I guess I'll leave that open. It's strange, I'm even playing on Expert, but I, I'm not really seeing any more zombies than I did before. Perhaps, oh wait a minute, I came in through here. Okay, perhaps uh, there really aren't any more. Whoa, that would be a crazy insane concept. Instead of having more enemies, you have like harder enemies, which is also the case, I suppose. But, hey, I see you there, trap door in the ceiling. Hmm. Yes, yeah, six rope arrows is well more than enough. I'm happy to have lost that one. I'm Eve. I'm Eve. I'm Eve, madam. I needn't. I'm even going to quick save on a rope, which is a terrible idea. I'm even going to use this. Somebody was suggesting on the TTLG forums the idea that uh, New Dark uh, makers, Le Corbeau or whatever, should consider adding uh, a couple of features that the Dark Mod has, such as. Um, Oh, what was it? Distracted by the eerie. It comes at you with its pale face and nobody ghastly spook it is. No. Different buttons for Frob and News and uh, also... Oh, which, uh, a, a dedicated mantle key. And they, well, they didn't they didn't mention the Dark Mod, but that's two things the Dark Mod has. And I'm, I'm just thinking, you know what? I mean, if that were possible, then like, hey, you know, why not? I mean, purists would be upset, I guess, but those are two really useful features of the Dark Mod. Like, even... Okay, I, I think I I think I bitched about the alternate use and frog keys at first, but I mean the dedicated mantle is great. And the separate use and frog has its uses. Uh I don't really know where I was going with that entire explanation of what I just heard there, but I just just saying I heard it and and yeah, this I don't know, like this wall texture reminds me of Doom's wall texture, like those those apartmenty uh scratched wallpaper type textures. It's like strange sort of empty, empty rooms. I guess I, pardon me, do have a map here though. Um, but I don't really know where I am. I should, okay, where did I, uh, where did I, I'm gonna have to cut all these out, the cathedral. But I'm on the second floor cathedral, so first and second, so I should be in one of these rectangular rooms. 
And there's a sheep in one of them. Amazing, he doesn't have a head. Okay, but I think some guy should be walking in here at some point. He's gonna count the moons and be over the moon. He just likes moons, apparently. I don't really know why. I'm not really part of the talk house. I just kind of like watching. Hey. Oh, I thought there was... I thought there was something like a ring. I guess... I guess people may have been in here and sort of looted the place out already. Or I should just be looking upwards, I suppose. You know, it was kind of neat when my gamma was accidentally zero. The blacks were sharp and rich and deep and rich. And, and, and it was kind of cool looking and I had to squint to see the screen. I don't know, but... I'm recording, so pfft. maybe they they're searching for dark mod footage and they come across my video and they want just gameplay, but instead they get a guy talking and cutting, and there is no video with gameplay maybe sometimes. So if that is why people get frustrated, then I guess I get it. But I don't really know. I mean, there's now I can really do besides to reiterate that I encourage. Washboard. I encourage partly washboard. Don't eat it like the cartoon man. I encourage uh, everyone who wishes to do so to post plays of Thief and Dark Mod missions. I mean, go for it, mate. It's fun and it's a cool community and stuff. And I might even mention the fact that you exist casually in a video about Gamma. I mean, you just never know what could happen. I. Hmm. Okay. Builder history. Well few books left. I guess the undead have no need of reading. They were elected to bleed and then die and then become undead. Not to read! Alright. I'm gonna make sure this guy's not gonna get all up in my face here. Alright. Brother Bernard, you can invite Brother Reginald to our society, but under no circumstances should you invite Brother Oliver. He is rude and destructive, and he will probably drink all our ale as well, Brother Anthony. Well, a true brother will have that sort of behavior, because it just wouldn't be funny otherwise. One, one, as the thief crept through the darkness, a light did shine upon him. And the builder did say to the thief, Thou shalt not touch mine valuables now. Halt! Tis be hammering time! <laughs> oh my god. That reference. That is amazing. This mission is now my favorite. Blacksmithing and forging. Oh, I like, I like the little section headers. Building technique. Yes, very wholesome. Building technique, there's probably a hidden section where it goes, uh, Bafford Chronicles and other such pleasures of the carnal flesh, as opposed to the non-carnal flesh. Carnal sounds a bit like carnivore, and so probably means fle- Ooh. Wow, that is beautiful. That- whoa. That- whoa. Yeah, whoa. Anyways, okay, but seriously, that's like some damn nice looking stuff. Another screenshot material. Right, forget there. Oh, hey. Um... Boy, 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 boy. Wefru. That's my... Whoa. That is just good. I don't remember seeing this on my stream. That's crazy. I must have missed this. That is so nice. <laughs> nice is also an understatement. And also, I see you there, sir. Probably in the way of some patrols. I mean, I would put a patrol here if I were a builder. But, you know, I'm not, so hey. Okay, move the out of the way, please, so I can get in semi-darkness. So I guess that's not going to happen ever. Should probably... I don't really want to use a water arrow, so I won't. I'm picking the lid of the chest. This is because I am magic. The magic thief is what I am. I should just go through and listen to every two unlimited album once just for nostalgia. That sounds like <laughs> a great plan. All right. Well, I'm super hyped up now because I've seen a beautiful, colorful thing. <laughs> I'm a child and also possessive of ADD. Well, not actually, but hey, there's an arm that uh, that also gets me hyped. I am some sort of sick person, but not really because is there really any such thing as a sick person? I mean, I mean, I ask you without any sort of clever joke at all, and therefore you could give me a very clear answer. Yes, there is. So. So there, Fen. I think this is the first outsidey place. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize this door was here, so... Hmm. Well, perhaps I shall not at all leave it here, yeah. 
Okay, what have we got here? What have we got? I thought it said sign, but it says crypt. Like, you know, sign. Very meta. Well, that's the crypt. I think I'm gonna leave it here under the shadow of the glorious light! And see you guys next time, and bye for now.